Hello and welcome to the very, very first episode of Let's Build. Today we are going to be building a 1950s ranch. Here is the simplest house you can ever build, but it's a great place to start to learn how. Now, let's start. Let's start with the basics. You want to have your house, you start by cutting the base. And on this base, you just kind of cut it roughly, you're going to draw a rectangle using the golden mean. Like that, oh yeah, oh that's perfect. All right, now you're gonna cut a long strip of paper like this, and you're going to come and you're gonna align it with this. And you're gonna fold on each corner of the rectangle. All right, there. There, and it doesn't have to be on the rectangle exactly. It can be just um, really anywhere. It doesn't really. I'm gonna make this actually a little longer because it's kind of. Right now I'm gonna put that there. And make sure each side is even, so that it it will look like a good, awesome rectangle. Now, once you get that done, if you have x access. Then you, then you, then you, um, it doesn't matter because that, that, that's just a good thing. And you just keep doing this and you add that. And you, you so you just kind of go like that. And then you go here and anywhere where there's access, you put glue on just a little bit of glue. And you make sure that it's a line. That, that's good. Alright, so you have this. Now, I think that's going to be a little bit too tall. You want to have maybe about four, four bricks tall. If you're doing a brick texture, you can really make it out of any texture you want. I mean, you can paint it and stuff. And it's, it's a pretty boss house. Alright. Now, you're going to go in the middle. And in the, in the side that looks the prettiest. And you're going to cut a door in the middle of it. So just a door like that. Now, you're going to cut a window on each side of the door. On one side, it's going to be a smaller window. And on the other side, it's going to be a big window. A really large window. Now, this is just kind of a middle class house. And there are hundreds of these across the country. They're built. It's just a common track home from the 1950s. All right, so finish cutting that. So you see, you have one small window and one very and larger and one larger window. And if and you can do whatever you want. If you want a fireplace on the side, you can cut a fireplace. I'm gonna do that. Do that, and you can cut like back doors and stuff, like here, just like a back door. You don't want to worry too much. Have a window here, cause that's just what. Cause windows are awesome. All right. Now that you have all the windows cut, you go back to your cardboard base and you basically just glue this down. And make sure you glue it down with a rectangle. Alright, so like that. Perfect. Just like that. And keep and just kind of make it straight and stuff. And go here to the side. Make sure it's a 90 degree, nice clean 90 degree angle. Cut that. Actually, I'm not following my rectangle that I drew earlier at all. But that doesn't really matter. That's just kind of for guidelines for people who don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> Alright. Finish gluing that. Just one, one strip. That's all you need. All you need. You're that awesome. Alright, so this is what you come up with. And, it, and in the end, you're going to cut out all that. All the ac access base. So that's, that doesn't matter. Now, you're going to go and you're going to choose a floor. And it really doesn't matter what you choose your floor. I mean, it can be anything. Let me go cut my floor because I did not do that. Alright, so I cut my floor. It's a beautiful blue foam rectangle. Just kind of eyeballed it when I'm over there. And if you know how to measure and stuff, then that's, that, that, that's perfectly fine. But I always eyeball stuff. And so now here, you're just going to kind of cut it 
blocks to fit nice and snug inside there. It's actually pretty easy to do when you have a rectangle house like this. When you start getting into the more Victorian styles or different shapes, it gets a lot harder. But this is pretty easy. Alright, so you see how that fits nicely in there? Take this out. I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, just kind of do a, like that. Now we're going to put our floor in here. Perfect. And just kind of... Looks like a beautiful floor. And if you want to put any like markings on the floor and stuff, like tile or any kind of design, do that now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of do like a line texture. Alright, so that's just basic tile. And you can get to, you know, anything from carpet and stuff. It does not matter at all what you want to do. I mean, it's just a basic idea of how you build it. Alright, now you only want a ceiling. And for that, you just want a simple um, white piece of paper, just a printer paper or cardstock or anything, because it's made just for decoration. And, and you're just going to kind of glue it down on there. You don't really have to worry about cutting it to size, because that does not matter until the end. You can do this. And if you want to add like a light or something, you can do that, like a glow-in-the-dark bead or something. That's what I sometimes do. All right, now you're just gonna cut right, like a millimeter, right off the edge of the house. So if we can put the roof on, make it look awesome. And this roof is just gonna have a simple style. Alright, so you see that looks pretty good. Let's just take this off here. Just a little bit. Let's do this here. And we're set. Alright, now. Just cut that. Alright, scraps. And now you're going to go cut a piece of brown paper or black paper or anything. Just does not cardboard does not matter you're gonna cut a rectangle just kind of a little bigger than the house so like that because you're gonna be folding it up and so it'll look all right since so you got that now you're going to fold this and i think no, it'll look this way fold it like this you can probably tell where i'm going here but and then if you want to just have like gables on each side or just a peak roof you can do that it's simple you know like that and make sure it's pretty flat though else it'll look really like not like a 50s ranch it'll look more like a cape cod english cottage which isn't bad it's just you know you, you that's not what you're all right so something like that you know yeah all right now you're gonna cut that off but i'm today i'm gonna do a complicated where it's just gonna be like let me cut a triangle off there, fold it up together, cut a triangle there. Alright, now, if I can, I'm going to try and use these triangles that I've cut, because I'm pretty conservative materials. And if they don't fit, I'm just going to cut, alright, that doesn't fit, I'm just going to put brand new, alright, so materials. Now I'm just going to take this, put glue on each side here, make sure you don't put any on the sides there, or else it, it'll just dry and look bad. Alright, kind of just make sure it looks pretty straight to you. If that's, you know, that's, and that's, that's actually looks pretty good. See, it'll, it's gonna, when I'm just gonna put triangle in each side. Looks like that's a, I don't know, 75 degree angle. But it's gonna cut a rough square or any kind of scraps you have with this brown, black, or any kind of paper and you can make your roof anything like purple you can make your roof purple you can make your roof out of anything I just I just like mine to look realistic now you're gonna cut the triangle you're gonna kinda just measure it All right, is that it looks like that if I just trim that and just kinda trim it and stuff and then or you can like trace it and stuff. If that if that's fine, but I like I just kind of eyeball it. All right. So doing that, and that's that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take this, and before you put it on, you're just gonna t take another trace. Is that gonna fit on there? 
I don't think so. Right, let's just cut a new piece. Jeez, I'm using so much paper. Simple. Alright, now you see this? And you just kind of just cut. Simple. And just kind of do a complete copy of it. What you just did. So you don't have to do all that measuring again, which is really, really sad. Alright. It doesn't really matter what, what side you put each of these on. Just, it's just kind of the... And you're just going to put glue along the inside of that. Along the inside and across this bottom piece. And, you, and I probably use way too much glue. But you're just going to kind of glue that in. You're going to take your finger. And you're just going to kind of bring it up like that. Push it up if it doesn't... That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty snazzy. If I don't say so myself. Now, we're going to take this piece... And we are going to take this and glue, glue, glue. And we're just going to do the same thing over here, only we're not going to be able to. And that ceiling there, you can just cut that off in the end if that does not matter. And you're going to try not getting glue on the outside of this roof if you can. I mean, you know, I mean, you can always melt it or cut it off. Right now, that's pretty dry. Just gonna slice this. It doesn't. You can just kind of. And there is your roof. Now we're gonna go along the outside where the base was that I cut, and you're just gonna kind of cut it. If you want to leave a front, like a little front front porch, you can. But I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna slice right through it. Slice. Come on now. Come on. Ah. Slice. Ah. All right. <laughs> And there you go. But we're not done yet. Now you're gonna take a marker. This is I mean this is this is completely optional. This is what I do. You're gonna take a thin marker and you're just gonna draw lines on the roof. It doesn't matter what how you space them or anything. And you're gonna go over here and you're gonna make sure that lines up with the you make sure that the so that line goes there. This line goes up and meets with this line, and then you just kind of go up here. Now we're going to do something over here. Like that, like that, like that. Now we're going to take this up here, and we're going to make sure it's lined up. All right. That looks, that's, that's looking pretty snazzy. I messed up there. <laughs> all right, now you're going to keep doing that all the way around. And it'll look really good if you, if you don't, like, do other things, like mess up and have not have the lines meet that'll look very bad so just kind of keep it simple now i feel like i want to add like a like a vent or something i'm just going to take any kind of bead i'm just going to take a simple small glow in the dark bead i'm just going to kind of put it maybe over here i don't know where should i, I think well fireplace is going to be there so i'm going to go over here and if you want to like paint it or your house or anything, this could be the time to paint it. But since I'm making a brick, it doesn't. I'm not painting it. Because I like this beautiful brick. Alright, and, ma and make sure the vent shoots straight up. Not like that, but like this. Because that will look better. Now, you're going to take anything. Probably for me, I'm going to use red brick. Because red goes good with the beige brick. You can see like a scrap here. And I'm just going to cut however tall I want it to be a little taller than that it's so like one brick taller than the roof line sometimes so um, so right here is where I'm gonna have it now I'm going to fold this like that then I'm gonna fold it smaller like this I'm gonna fold it into a rectangle not a square but a rectangle for this build all right all right Fold that. And now, whatever access, whatever access you have, it does not really, it does not matter at all. Because it just makes your chimney stronger and happier. Not happier, but you know. You know what I mean. You're going to put glue along the part that you have. Alright, now you're just going to lay it down like that, I think. Yeah. Right, now that's your chimney. I have to put it on. Actually, I think one block 
but that's gonna be too much. I'm gonna do one block below the roof line. So like that. That looks pretty fifties and awesome. And then now you're gonna go here on the back side that looks ugly. And you're just gonna cut a hole. And if you wanted a fireplace in the beginning, you should have uh, nah. you should should have cut the hole here. And now you're gonna line that up. And if you need to cut like a hole in the roof, you can line it up like that. And you're just gonna kind of like right where you're gonna put it. You're just gonna put a bunch of glue. Doesn't really matter. Now you're just gonna put that on there lightly. Bam. All right, and that's our fireplace. Now I'm gonna just add like a overhang for the front porch. So I'm gonna take one of my scraps from when I was building it. And I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna glue under, like right above the door. I'm gonna glue under it and I'm gonna put this on. Now you, and there you go. And if you wanna put like things on the windows, shutters or any of that, you know, shutters, all those dead decorations and all those overhangs and hoods on the windows. You can do that and all that, you know. And if you want to just add anything, now it's, you know, add a garage. Basically, it's the same if you want to add a garage to this. You just make that longer and you cut a garage door. But that's that's more difficult. But this is this is pretty much the house. And let's just take this right here. It's just simple, simple, simple. All right. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, please. And visit nippyworld.com. Thank you for watching.